How to clean your dried up paintbrush. How to remove dry paint from the brushes. If you have been painting for a while, you know that sometimes, on occasion, and sometimes way too often, you forget to put the paintbrush in water, rinse it, clean it, and the result is this hard thing. Welcome to the Ayala Art I Love to Paint channel. This is your artsy friend, Martha. If you like art journaling, acrylic painting tutorials, and mixed media, this is your channel. We are in my kitchen right now, and the angle is kind of different. But anyway, if you have been painting for a while, chances are you have the occasional hard paint on the brushes, and sometimes it feels like the brush is completely ruined. So in my last painting, I totally forgot to rinse them, and they are pretty hard. This one has a little bit of medium. It's still kind of sort of, you know, flexible. I could wash it with regular soap. I could even put some Windex or alcohol and it would be okay, like this one. This is one of my mixed media uh, paint brushes because it's not flexible and new and nice. It's kind of hardened and there's some thickness inside of it. So all of this I'm going to stick them in a cup overnight, most likely. It could be a few hours, depending on how bad the, the brush and the paint um, situation is in each case. But for this video, I'm going to be using this product overnight. So I'm going to fill just enough on a little plastic cup. And I'm going to put this oil soap. And I will, hold on a second. I will leave them overnight, just enough to cover the brushes. I will leave them in a little corner in the kitchen or in the bathroom or in your art table if you don't have naughty cats that come and visit. If you can see over here, they are well covered and overnight is going to get all over inside. If you also have your brayer with paint, you can either put it on a plastic like the kitchen plastic sheets and put the, the Murphy's oil soap in the plastic and roll it or stick it in a container but chances are you cannot find a container shallow enough and long enough for not wasting so much of the of the liquid so I recommend the plastic you can just stick it in a in a little uh, like a sandwich bag or something just smear it enough and leave it overnight I will leave mine because I like the texture that it has gathered but later on when I clean it I'm going to use this so I will show you the results after a few hours and tell you how this worked. I could test with the Windex by itself, but for now I'm going to just test only this. And if you want to see over here in the card, somewhere in there, I'm going to include a card for the only alcohol cleaning for the brushes, which also works really good. So I will see you shortly. This is just a few minutes later, and you can see how it started to work. If you are art inclined, love painting, drawing, art journaling, and mixed media, this is your channel. This is next day. I have been just uh, mixing them a little bit with the soap every once in a while not that many times but you can see how the the soap turned the color of the paint and now what we're going to do is rinse them with water if you're new here remember to click on the subscribe button and also tick the bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video all you will see in the playlist here is acrylic painting, art journaling, all kinds of fun, free paintings and activities. 
if you can see it is very clean now and soft it's just like brand new I don't care about the rest I don't care about the rest of the brush because it doesn't matter if it is stained but what you want is the bristles to be completely smooth and soft and they are very clean so I'm going to put it to dry in a napkin over here it doesn't matter where but just put it on a napkin and I am curious to see about the skinny one that had been hardened and half cleaned for weeks and weeks and see if it also is as soft it is very soft I cannot feel any thickness in the middle of it so it's pretty much like brand new if I put a little bit of medium once it's just barely moist it will be able to retain the shape like this even if it is wet and even if it's some parts of it have been um, pulled to the back to the sides because the medium will keep it in shape just a teensy beansy not, not even a whole drop just a little bit and when it is wet so I'm going to finish rinsing it because one thing you don't want is the soap still in your brush when you're going to be painting this was also very hardened it still has some of the paint in there and I am sure the water will just completely remove the leftovers see soft it still has the stains of other paints because some of the paints like the thalo green and thalo blue stain the paint is gone but it stains the bristles or wherever it lands <laughs> so this is all clean and soft the last one that I have in here had just medium it wasn't in such a bad shape but it still was kind of hardened I'm going to continue making sure that it's completely well rinsed but pretty much you can see that the paint is all gone the medium is gone it is soft very manageable it's in great shape but I just need to make sure that it's completely rinsed from the soap Thanks for watching and remember to keep your paintbrush wet. <laughs>